different spots. This is super cute. This is black. Okay. Beautiful. Why? Why do something? It has the magic hands. Oh, it's so Christmassy. So Christmassy, so Christmassy. Let's go see what else is here. House of Hollow. House of Hollow. Another House of Hollow. Super heavy. What's this? Um, Oh, so I like this marshals here. They have none but designers up in here. Designer. Which one? This is the marshals by the uh, mall. This is Club Monica. Very nice. It's very silky though. Where are you from? That's the brand. Where are you from? I said hello. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to go to the mall because I got to go to Zara. Zara, Zara, Zara. I just thought we should stop by here for a minute. Let's see what they got. I told me they had this in Houston. North Italia. It might be good. We are to Benga Westfield Mall where there's a mess. Dio, Valentino, and all that stuff. We might like it. Beverly said it was really good. Yeah, when Beverly came back, you want her to go over there. <laughs> it's a lot of noodles. Oh, yeah. It's Italia. Some green beans. You asked for green beans? Yep. Oh. Sure did. Oh, okay, good for you. Alright, alright. You got some burgers? That's my food. The Jamaican. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, do you have any hot sauce? No sriracha? Uh, okay, thank you. Sriracha is what I want. You gotta stop shoving that <laughs> Tabasco chulula in my face. Get some real hot sauce. Give me some hot sauce, guys. Got it. Alright, gonna be to you. Yes. I got the Jamaican spicy black shrimp with chicken, some plantain, even they call it plantain. Got some white rice and some black beans. And spicy sauce. Yeah, gonna be tits. Your store. We're in the MS store. They close at six. We missed it. Where is Riley? Come on, let's go to Dio. Let's go see what Dio has to offer. You hiding like you were? Uh, you don't do that. Stay with me. You know. He was a nice security guard, though. I gotta say. Thing. I can't go into the Dior store until an associate is available. Full crap. They don't know. 
They don't know how much money I got in my pocket. I'm not gonna cut off my camera because because the guy called him. Because you were recording? No, they said no. The guy asked to speak to a manager. Oh. guys <laughs> the discrimination in the stores is real i gotta tell you i guess they've gone so much uh, grab and run that they're sanctioning who comes to the store with my fendi and all i'm still not talk about it's one-on-one -on -one associate hmm. okay let's see how this is gonna work out they're gonna get some lawsuits Ah, oh, this is the one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the one. Thank you. Yeah, I guess. Thank you. No problem. You're so kind. Alright, guys, here is the real authentic one for $990. And when I sell you guys, wait. Other ones you'll be like, I don't see the difference. It's just the metal is a little heavy. It's nine nine ninety reversible. Yeah, nine ninety. Yeah, this can't fit me. I have the smaller ones over here. Valentino, Valentino, Valentino. Yeah. They're super nice over here. Oh, like Dior try to give me a hard time. Telling me I can't come in until an associate is available. No worries. Remy is just chilling. Tiny though, super cute. I'm a mother. I don't care. You stop seeing the tiny bags. <laughs> like, where's she going? I like this one. Thank you, though. This is super cute. Yeah, it still wasn't easy. So I'm getting the spice guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that pig. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. pig. Yay. Yeah. We were. Let me see my Valentino. Let me bought me a Valentino back, yes, guys. Man. What a good son. You deserve it. Hey, beautiful. The Dior people will not let you win. They, that's their loss. <laughs> they lose my money. There's the place. Well, I guess she must be waiting. I could have gotten an MS scarf or something. Okay, guys, we are on our way to church. They say it was going to be cold, but then the sun is out. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what I have on this big old jacket. That's what they said. All right, now, truck, you got to move. You can't just stand there. Is there any of car coming? What is he doing? Oh, wow. You might not be going to church. Mm -hmm. so, or if you are.
very people that have been harassing you and trying to get trampled will have to let you go. The people that have bad, bad plans for you, they have to release you and let you go. You don't stay stuck in Pharaoh's house and have to get away because I will be with you. And God is with you. No one can hold you back. And this is what I think is really interesting in chapter 13 and verse 1. Then Abram went up from Egypt, he and his wife, and all that they had. I don't have enough time to speak on this, but it is my heart. guys we just came from church the first sunday of the month i forgot about that it was um communion lord's supper however you want to call it it was the lord's supper so it was good remy was on point mm -hmm. with the red today because all the ushers had red mm -hmm. <laughs> red tie Black suit. I'm like, oh, Remy. I know, I'm matching. You're matching today. the Auschwitz today with your red. And it's Calvin Klein. Okay, we 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 not we're not name dropping. It's Calvin Klein. <laughs> okay. I gotta put my stuff out there. Oh my God, I was that close to that car behind me, Remy. Huh? That car behind me that you made me pass. You weren't that close. Was super close. Oh. I was, hope I ain't gonna hit nobody's car. Para park is not my thing. Para parking. I don't want to hit nobody's car, then they'll be like, oh, excuse me, you hit my car. Mm -hmm. like, no, 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 no. They're all too much in front of me. Or that's You're good. good. I'm you good. can squeeze you up. You're okay. good. You're good. Voila. Driving 101. Then I guess we're heading to our Starbucks mm -hmm. and then home. John or Joe or whatever you say. Right, see you. Wait, uh, Remy, do not give me copyright with your stuff. Thank you for joining Starbucks. My name is Nancy. Can I get started with your name? Yes, uh, this is Jackie. Hi, Jackie. What can I get started for you tonight? Can I get a grande, a hot white chocolate? What? Grande yeah. hot white chocolate, okay. Yes, and um, grande caramel brulee, hot. And a grande caramel brulee, hot, okay? Yeah, no whip. I don't want whip on there. No, no, whip. No, no whip on another. Yeah, on the brulee, no whip. Yeah. Oh, just on the caramel brulee, so on the white chocolate, you want whipped cream? Yeah, it's fine. Yes, the white chocolate whipped cream, the brulee, no whip. No whip. Okay, got it, huh? Anything okay. else you say? Do you have any butter croissants? Butter croissants? Let me double check on that. Okay. Please say yes. <laughs> I know. You mm -hmm. really want some croissant. <laughs> croissant, croissant, croissant. Croissant, croissant. Okay, I only have one left. Oh damn. Alright. And one butter croissant? Yes, just one I guess. Uh, can you heat it up please? I'm so sorry? Can you warm it up? Of course. Alright. Anything I'll free today, hon? That's it, thank you. Go ahead and put for it, thank you. Alrighty. I guess you get the croissant. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was hoping for you. That's okay, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay. Yeah. Why do you feel bad? <laughs> Why would you feel bad? Because you deserve the croissant. <laughs> oh, I deserve it. You're yeah. the child. I'm the mother. So You're supposed to have my last crumb. If I have to sacrifice, I will sacrifice it for you. Not for no, me. No, I would sacrifice it for you because no. you're my mom. And I love I'm you. grown. I've had enough croissants to last me a lifetime. You can eat. You're hungry. Your stomach was growling in church means you're hungry. <laughs> I'm not that hungry. Mm. I just have my brulee. And I go home and eat something. I have a sourdough bread. I can make myself a sandwich. Yeah. La, 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 la. We are here. We are here. Hello. Hi there. Good to you. Okay. Is that white mocha for you? White mocha? Yes. Okay, thank you for choosing Starbucks. I'm gonna get you started with. Oh, 
little colder. Thank you. Did you just answer me? <laughs> no. I know you did. No. Yeah, you did. <laughs> when I give it here, what am I going to do with it? You're just buying coffee. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> mm, coffee card. My bully, may that not be too sweet. I don't want sweets. Do you have, what do you have? We have butter croissant, I'm sorry. You have chocolate? <laughs> chocolate croissants. Okay, we have, I'll, we'll take the chocolate. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the croissants, because it's real. The demand for butter croissant at Starbucks is, you think you're trying yeah, to get gold. <laughs> yes. It's like you They're have that hopeful running. look. You think you'd say yes, you know? They're always running out. Scarcity of butter croissant demand and supply there's the demand but they don't have no supply economic 101 demand and supply that was my thing in school because I, I major in marketing demand and supply I could do that in the back of my head if there's a demand for stuff you think you want to go ahead and stack up like, huh? Starbucks? Who is your management team? Everybody around this time want a butter croissant. So all that chocolate mess you guys got going over there that's not selling, put that in the back burner and just bring some butter croissant. It's called demand and supply. Take out stuff that's not selling. All right. Here you go, mister. What was this one? That's yours. Oh, okay. okay. This is mine. Can I get two um, straws? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. You too. She's always smiling. Yeah. She has a smiley face. Mm hmm Now that the rest of them come and look at you like you're an alien. I know. <laughs> Like well, serious I, faces. Serious faces. I'm not. I'm just a barista. I'm not here to socialize. I know. <laughs> I just oh. need to make the money. <laughs> yeah. I thought somebody hunkered. No. There like, was no one what? coming anyway. Mm -hmm. That's I'm yours. Like... Oh wait. Why did I put the thing on? Yes, Remy. I'm only driving. Your life is in my hand, so you want to make sure my drink. Did I ask for brandy? Oh, this is super hot. Oh, here's a flip. Did I ask for brandy or tall? I don't know. I think you asked for grande. I asked for grande. Yeah, I think it's because I said grande. Oh, yeah. Then you just happened to say grande. Yeah, I remember so. I said I was going to just get it all because who's going to drink all this? Shoot. Oh, my God. Guess what I forgot to do? And you're not reminding me. What? Um, To your dad's. Get your dad's. Whatever. See you guys. So I was able to go to Carl's Jr., guys, and I got me some French toast stick without the sugar. No butter croissants are up there for Carl's Jr. Instead of going home and try to cook, I ain't got time for that. Okay. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. We are back home. Welcome to my little boudoir, my happy place. This is where everything I love is in this room, closet, however you want to call it. This is my. And mine alone. All right, guys. We just came back from church. The vlog. Is it a vlogmas? Am I doing a vlogmas? No, I'm just posting. I don't want to be committed to stuff that I cannot finish. Because there's some days that I don't feel like doing a thing. So, welcome to you guys. Welcome, welcome to my humble abode. To my little fashion spot. So church was good and we home and it's Sunday. It's the day we give homage to our beautiful handbags, luxury, fashion, dupe, no dupe, authentic, whatever, 
this is where we give somebody took the time to make these bags okay so we have to give homage to whoever did it could be luxury it could be five thousand it could be ten dollars we don't discriminate here okay by the way this is jackie in case you were wondering fabulous jets i have another channel fabulous jet to live sale where we have a private jet where we sell our stuff in a private jet okay we fly around <laughs> don't mind me guys but that's if you're new here please subscribe and share my video this channel is based on affordable shopping looking good without breaking the bank i'm gonna start including a little bit of traveling but not so much this is just how you can look fabulous without using your mortgage okay or your rent or whatever it is but anywho so let me start you guys see my vlog where i went to topinga it's now a new when i work for chanel i used to work at the topinga store but they're no longer owned by nostrums they've you know decided to just seize their boutique and do their own thing which is good because nostrums was full of it but anyway guys so i went to topanga they changed they turned into topanga into a mini rodeo drive they got ms dior valentino bottega ysl is coming balenciaga you name it is coming to topanga some of them are already open ms is open dior is open valentino is open ysl not open yet balenciaga not open yet um Bottega not open yet, but they're in the works. Puff Gary not open yet. Omega not open yet, but they're all coming. I think Fendi is coming too, so we're not sure about that. But I'm only telling you about the stores. So, guys, you saw my little vlog with the deal. So I went to, I went to. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I want to thank everybody. Let me digress. I want to thank everybody that shop with me yesterday at fabulous jet to live sale you know we use a private jet thank you thank you thank you i appreciate you for those of my sisters who were not able to make it i still appreciate you because it's nothing but love over here we know it's the holidays and people have things to do so i appreciate everyone that's here so guys as i was saying the Dior, uh, I went to MS, but it was like 10 after 6, and they closed at 10 o'clock. I just wanted to go in and be nosy. wasn't buying anything. But I went over there, and the security guy was super, super nice. He said, oh, we close at 6, but come back tomorrow. I said, okay, not that I am coming. I went to, to go to that mall to fix my Fendi Zucker bag that, you know, was destroyed, that I got back by my sister but they're charging me 250 dollars to fix that bag that's like another bag from the real real but that bag is selling for 1200 on the pre-love site etsy where all that so the 250 was okay but anyway let me go back to my mess we left a mess and we said let's go i wanted to go to dior and there's a big old security guard standing at the door like this i'm like uh excuse me i want to go in and he says oh you cannot I said, why are you close? He goes like, no, you ha the, the, a cashier has to become available in order for you to go in. I'm like, huh? Since when? I go to Dior on Rodeo Drive. I don't have that kind of issue. Why am I having an issue in Topanga? Because of this grab and run teenage kids who are messing it up for all of us. You know, they're going in there and stealing stuff. So now every luxury store has a security guard at the door. Not that that's going to deter them from doing what they want to do. But anyway, I didn't quite get it because there was a guy just standing there. This seemed like he had a customer. So I said to the security guard, I said, well, he don't seem like he has a customer. So why can't he take take us? It was me and Remy. Well, I'm just doing my job. I'm doing as I'm told. If they tell me to send somebody in, then I'll send somebody in. And I look around. I was, me and Remy were the only one waiting out there. There was one family in the store. They had three employees and a manager just walking around flexing so i said this is some bull crap i said let me speak to the manager because i i want to shop 
I mean, Remy wanted to treat me, so I actually was thinking, I mean, I wasn't gonna break his little bank, but he wanted to treat his mom to something. So, manager come and says, unfortunately, you have to wait until a sales manager, uh, person becomes available before we can let you in. I said, is this rule only for Topanga? Because Rodeo Drive don't have that rule. I could just walk in and they'll be very happy to assist me. Yeah, well, this is not Rodeo, this is Topanga. I was like, who? She, she came back with snap, snap, snap. And I said, well, whatever. I said, he don't seem like he has a customer, so can he take me? She turned around to him and says, are you available? And he goes like, nah, I have a customer. I'm like, where's the customer? Why are you just standing there? I guess he figured I wasn't going to buy nothing. So he didn't want to waste my time or his time. But anyway... So I told the manager, I said, you guys are ridiculous. You know, I mean, I understand your protocol, but if there's nobody, you as a manager should make a call. If he's just standing there twiddling with his thumb, he can help me. And she was like, well, ma'am, you're just going to have to wait. It's not going to take that long. And now, you know me, I'm vlogging. And she was like, can you not please not put your camera on my face? I said, by then I had already taken her face. But then I moved my camera. I said, you're not on my camera. I'm not even in your store. I'm standing outside your store. This is Topanga store. So I can stand here and I can vlog all I want to. There is no rule that do not vlog. But anyway, we had a little shenanigans. She goes like, well, it's not going to take a minute if you want to go wait outside. I'm like, I'm not going to wait outside to spend money. You guys are not even MS. MS was willing to let me in. They were just closed. So I said, let's mosey on to Valentino. So we mosey on to Valentino. They had a customer. Now all their doors are locked. They have to let you in. So I told security guard, I'm like, uh, knock, knock. Can I come in? Are you guys closed? And he says, no, no. So a sales actually ran and came and opened the door. I said, can I come in? She says, sure. I'm like, okay. They were very nice. You know, we had fun. You guys will see it. And Remy treated me. He wanted to buy, he and his dad wanted to buy me a bag for my birthday which is what they did. So that was that. But Dior, let me tell you, that manager, I'm going to go back there during Christmas time. If I want to spend some stuff, I'll probably buy something and turn around and return it. How about that? But anyway, <laughs> and I walk it right by. I said, look, you just missed a little change. You know, my big old, big old Valentino bag. Voila. It's like, it's all taped in. You guys will see it. But anyway, that was my little story on my vlog. What day was this? We went Friday, December 1st. So, Topanga is going to have some issue. People are going to start having issue. If you all keep uh, blocking people from coming in your store, it's going to become a problem. So, you guys might want to watch it. Dio was very nice. I mean, not Dio. Valentino was very nice. I hope. MS looked like they were going to be nice because the security guard was super nice. And uh, Dior with a manager who thinks she's Lord knows what. Girl, being there done that. I manage a better store than you managing. But anyway, so that was my little experience on Friday. After I dropped my sister at the airport, we decided to go to Topanga. And I was like, huh, what is happening? Never had that problem at Rodeo Drive. I come to Topanga. And they want to have rules and regulations because people are doing grab and run. I mean, I understand it, but do I look like I was coming to grab and run over there? I was well dressed. So let it not be that it's a color thing. That's what I told her. I said, better not be or else you'll be hearing from me. But anyway, guys, I digress. Let me show you what I got for my birthday. I will show you what Remy and Hobby got me, but I'll show you what I got for myself. You guys know. I don't wait for people to treat me. I treat myself. I did show you guys last week what I got, but I was waiting for this one bag from the Real Real. I either wanted this bag in either uh, the green or the blue, and they didn't have a green. Fashion Fire had in the green, but they were double the price. So I opted for, for the blue Epi Leather. What is that? Epi leather, um, I think size 30, speedy. I think this was, it came out to like 500 and something. Yeah, like I was saying, this was 
came with tax and shipping it came up to five something i think it was like maybe in the four something but then every you know with tax and delivery but i just realized something when it got here which they did not show you see it has a big old dent right here which i think i will try to take out but it's the epi leather i want i've been wanting this either in a green or in a blue so voila i got the blue one so that's what i got for more and something else that did not come before my birthday so i wasn't able to show you guys because i got this bag and a pair of shoe it's another box i know this shoe i'm sure some of you will be like oh okay what is that but it's so cute on it's not cute when you look at the picture but it's super cute on. It's very classy. It's so European. It's like very few Americans who walk around with this. Okay. It's a Fendi. I love the heel. It's like a little peep toe. It's drawstring. So I grabbed this. Now, when I was buying this, they didn't have a black one. After I bought this, size eight and a half, I went back. To see somebody is selling the black one but for double the price i paid for this color so that was a good thing super cute i have so many fendi pieces that i feel like with all the fendi bags that i have now especially the the zuka print ones yeah it might not be cute it might not look cute by just looking at it but when i put it on it's super cute so yeah, this is, the real real took a little bit longer. It was supposed to be for my birthday, but I got it right after my birthday. So yeah, I figured I can share it with you guys. What else did I get for myself? I think those are the two things that I got for myself. Let me show you what hobby and remy even though remy is the one that coughed up his card <laughs> but hobby gave him permission so he oh hobby got to give him some money i mean i didn't really plan i went in there and i saw so many beautiful valentino bags and i didn't want to be like the massive and you know there's some of these bags that even if you carry some people are like oh is it real is it not but i look for runway bags if i'm going to spend some money I want one of a kind bag that everybody and their mama doesn't have. So when I was a Valentino, I look at the bells. I'm like, I'm not buying a belt because I have a lot of dupes of those belts. They do the same thing. It give me the same, same aesthetic. So let me open this. The young lady was very nice. Here's the card. I love that shopping card. It's like, my receipts the receipt is in here and her beautiful name was Lily Lily was super nice yeah so here is my card with all the her card for next time and I told her please don't text or call me only if you have a sale because that is that's the only time your friend your girlfriend here buys stuff so this is a runway bag and the only reason i opted for it because it was 40 percent off sure if it's a sale it's a sale runway bag yes here we go let me see this and right, here's that beautiful Here's a beautiful bag. Okay. So let's take out all this mess out of here. Oh, wait, first, let me show you guys. It's more like a tote, everyday tote. I can see me schlepping this around because it's an everyday tote. 
There is a price tag. Why is there no price tag in here? What in heaven's name? All right, well, it comes with this little removable pouch. We have a crossbody. So this bag was $2,400, but 40% off, it came up to $1,400 plus tax, it came up to sixteen. dollars Guys, don't say, oh my God, Jackie, preach what you, I mean, practice what you preach. But um, it was my birthday, my hobby, and Remy, I guess with everything I'm going through, wanted to make me happy, so. He says, you want to go to Louis? I'm like, no, I have 20 million Louis bags. And I'm looking for runway pieces. And if I was to get a runway piece from Louis, it would be something everybody and their mama has. Where is my receipt? Where is the tag for this bag? Did I take it off? I don't know. But it was 24. I think it's in that little envelope. So this bag is just an empty tote with this right here. The only reason I choose this is fabric is runway. This cannot be replicated. I don't think you could find this in the, uh, in the, in the replicated site. So this is what I opted to for 1400. I almost had a little bit hot palpitation because <laughs> at first it was 2400 I'm like, I pay, I'm going to buy 2400 for this bag because I asked her and then she said, oh, but guess what? It's 40% off. I'm like, okay, for 40, and it's a runway bag. So if you watch the Valentino runway show, you will see this bag. So that's that. So I love this. I don't understand why the tag is not here or oh, am i missing something uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay what they do i guess if it's on sale they take away the tag is that what they do okay so yeah this is what this is what he paid 1600 so yeah it just says 1404 I'm trying to see where it says 24 and then 40 percent off but they have a way of of ringing stuff because that one I looked in the store had the 2400 um, price on there but anyway yeah, it was $14.94 plus tax. It came up to $16.35. I love this bag. I am going to baby it as much as I can because it's my birthday gift. It's not, I don't, I do not want a small little Valentino bag. I already have Valentino bags. I didn't want something that everybody and your mama has. I wanted a runway bag, something that is just, runway and that was a runway bag so voila i don't understand why i didn't have the tag i guess they took the tag off because she i told her to get me a new one from the back which is what she did ouch 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 something pinching me i love it my only regret is this is not gold this is more i mean it's gold but it's it's the very light gold and then Make sure I take this off so I can start rocking this. This will look good dressed up or dressed down. Never am I going to use the shoulder. It's always going to be a handheld. This is fabric. You can look at it really close. That's fabric. Yeah. So thanks to hubby and thanks to my son. This is what I didn't want to Louie. I'm like, Louis who? No. And we weren't going to know Chanel. We were not dropping $8,000. That's not what we're doing over here. This is affordable to me. As long as it's under 2000 
when we're good then when you start going past that 2000 limit it's a no oh i forgot to let you all know it has a magnet voila super cute let's cut these things off and you cut off the uh, And they cut off the little tissue thingy. So, yes, guys, one more luxury bag in my closet. You know, once bidding twice shy after I was broke, you know, people still stole my stuff. Before I buy a luxury bag, now I have to really think about it. It's like, ah, is it worth it? Is this, if I carry this, if I carry it the other way without showing the Valentino sign, is anybody going to follow me home? <laughs> so you have a thing. When you start buying luxury, I didn't want LV, LV everywhere where, you know, them young kids are there lurking around, following you as you walk around. So I wanted a runway bag. And I wonder what this bag is called. She did tell me. She told me that I didn't pay attention. Is it, is it in here? Try and see. It just has a whole bunch of numbers and says something tote. I then sold doesn't give you a name no name I just give you a description of what it was okay. so I am that description should be on the tag itself why I don't have a price tag on here I don't understand maybe because it was on sale it's called oh no there's no name it's just a description number i told you guys it's a runway piece so runway pieces don't have all those names like rock stud blah 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 just just good old valentino so that's my treat and they had my Valentino glasses. This one I got from Nordstrom's. I think I had gotten this from Nordstrom's rack for like a hundred and, and some change. So now if I wear that, I will wear the, oh, was it 200? Was it 199, I believe I got? They had this there for like almost five. And I had to live and she was like, oh, we have, we have um, sunglasses, which I saw. I was like, I already have that. If I want a Valentino glasses, I know where to go. I'm just going to go to Nostrum, Nostrum. So, yeah, this is what got this. So, I feel like... Voila. I can carry this together. I can dress this up or dress it down. We got Valentino shoes. Where are my Valentino shoes? Can I even find them? I have Valentino boots. I can wear if I want to dress up. I can wear these Valentino heels with that. Or my Valentino long ouch boots that I got from the real real. Inside my Valentino boots. So, I yes, guys. So, the boots will look good with the bag. So that's that. That's what I got for my birthday. So it's Sunday. I went to church wearing my um, laundry dress. I've had this dress, guys, for like since I work at those at Chanel. So we're talking about since maybe 2008, 2007. Sherry Siegel. And I have on my Chanel bandeau, my headband, my Chanel cuff, my watch and some Cartier stuff. I was wearing my big Zara 
outer jacket i had gone for marshall's you guys remember this i got that and um yeah i was carrying my mademoiselle top handle beautiful that's what i wore to church my chanel glasses and i'm smelling like gabrielle chanel beautiful gabrielle chanel that's what i'm smelling like today so guys this is my vlog i don't think there is a continuation i hope you guys like it it was fun